drip, da da da. They'll be calling you a radical. This is an important historic video, tribute to Max Ernest. The original dripper was Max Ernest. He would hang a can of paint up and then swirl it over the painting. Elsa plots with her tomato soup can bra walking around New York City. She is the metaphor for this. Warhol lied. Warhol, you should. Well, Warhol told dozens of different stories. Curator took freaking credit for it. Said his mom cup up soup cans when he knew full well it was Elsa plots who come up. Now, it's important, da-da-da-da. Dada, Dada. Dada was an anti-imperialist movement, anti-World War I. Sound familiar? So, you use whatever you have. So, I found this on my walk this morning, laying in the street right here. We'll use it for campus. So, I found this on my walk this morning. The soup can, so... Wake me up before you found that. My uncle that grew up right there, lived right there. My grandpa's brother, 1968, were killed in a car wreck in Nessa. A lot of people don't realize here in Utah, the sugar beets, Marin Reckles. There's a sugar beet factory. They took a lot of them up there to raise beets. Nessa. You know what Nessa's named after? Eastern Oregon? The Nespas Wurst for Bigfoot. It was a real native, indigenous guy who lived up there. It was supposedly 7 8 Nespers. They call him Nessa, which means Bigfoot in the Badlands. And I found this on the side of the road. Chief Joseph on Balco. Talk about the longest fucking walk. So, fucking draining his waste into the Weber River all day, every day, and everybody knows it. Just put your seat. The whole Weber River is black, goes into the fucking Great Salt Lake. Everybody knows it. How the fuck? 1,800 cows, he just flushes it into the river, and everybody knows it. Including the EPA. They don't do anything. <laughs> so, anyway, you gotta drift. So, gotta get a fucking nail out. See if we can do this. Okay. You gotta drip, Blanche. No, you gotta flip. So. Thousand jobs with that bag. That belongs in the Smithsonian. The soup's expired. And you know, I've been painting with soup. This shit is disturbing. I have paintings, my Dogma Burger paintings, a lot of my paintings are six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. It's like fucking beyond concrete. What is in this shit? Got a grip! Tribute to Max Ernest. You got a grip. Oh, you got a clue.
First, they come for the craftsmen. Take your fucking back to it. How about them Phillies? Fucking one hitter at them Padres? Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was the questioner. Thomas Hart Benton standing right there. May 10th, 1869, his father. I envision someday a statue of Christopher Columbus on the highest mountain peak right there in corner. Right there's Thomas. Sorry, it's a fucking story. So, Jackson Pollock was training under Thomas Hart Benton. He was a questioner. It was Arnold Blanche and Lucinda Blanche. Said after the bomb, he couldn't take it anymore. How can I continue to paint? He snapped. He walked across the fucking street from the dripping class, Verasco, the Mexican artist, from Thomas Hart Benton's studio. Started to drip. You got a flip. Dada. There's rules with Dada. Was well, from the beginning. To the moon. Francis. Zurich, Switzerland. Fucking Berlin. Fucking New York City. There's rules. You can't spend money. You got to use whatever the fuck you got. That's the anti imperialist movement. The anti fucking. Use what you fucking got. I found all that on my walk this morning. Including the fan. Calls the curator in for the empty time. I've seen your fucking soup cans a million times. Anyway, where would you get the idea? My mom would cut them up when I was sick. Kid. He lied. Oh, the curator took credit. He lied. He knew full well. Also, plots came up with the tomato soup. She used to wear that. Remember, I, I have my tomato soup can bar over there I made. I used to wear it. Shave your head. Tomato soup and what was your She used to call Marcel's a shop. Nude to send down the staircase. Purple nude down in fucking elevator. She used to have a sign. She used to walk around. She used to, in front of the MoMA, in front of all the museums, even before the MoMA was there, 
and used to call him Marsh, Marsh, Marsh. She's the mother of that act. Max Ernest. There's the king. Whoa. Peggy Guggenheim. When I was at that jetty, that famous Spader Joe video, the Ice Cubes in the Desert guy pulls up, which is a McDougal, Joseph McDougal, who's a Bill Gates ass kisser, was telling me that when he got his scholarship into Europe, Peggy Guggenheim was an old lady and would commission young players. You know, she would sleep with hundreds of young artists. It was all sexual, Freudian, you Freudian fuck. He said, I didn't do it. Set my art career back 25 years. Max Ernest got exiled. She had it with him. You know, they were married, remember? Exiled him to Utah. <laughs> you got a drip. He calls him up. That's back when we had real art critics. The art critic says, I went and looked at him again. Why are you dripping off these cans now, Andy? You got a drip. He says, I don't like it. And he's like, neither do I. So he walks down the street, walks out, same old shit. And he says, it hit me. It's not the painting of the soup can. It's the idea to paint the soup can. Kevin Blanche, it's not the painting of the soup can. It's the idea to paint. Then you have to paint the fucking soup. that one again. That's new. Good, good. Wake me up before you go, go. Never did plan on going to the store. Work in progress. Work in progress. Where's your fucking bat? Oh, what is that? I don't know. How can you paint in the old style and do all the old work? Post the fucking meltdowns of Fukushima, Japan. Kevin Blanch. It's a work in progress. I like it so far. You got a drip. <laughs>